Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you really easy step by step how to make these beautiful frosty winter earrings. They're really easy to make and the materials that I use are also easy to find so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make those earrings by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. In this way you won't miss a thing and I have a really beautiful stuff prepared for you in the upcoming weeks. If you want to help me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my store where you could find interesting ideas for presents or for yourself and you could find links down there in description here at the eye icon and you could find the free USA delivery code. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what you need for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads and I need here ear wires. I'm using liver bags, but you could use any type you want. Here I use Nemo beading thread that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size O and you could use other beading thread of your choice like Fireline or Monofilament, whatever you have. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle and I'm using scissors and the pliers, uh, they are not obligatory but I use them only to go through the difficult beads and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take 8 white beads. Okay, I have my 8 here. And I'm going to slide them down. Here I will stick my needle in my mat and I want to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making a knot by making a loop here and going twice through the loop. Okay, you could even go three times if you want. And pull. Okay, like that. Now what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction, like that, okay? Now guys, what I need are three blue beads, okay? I have my three here and I'm going to skip one white bead and go through the following. Okay, just like that. And now what I want to take are three more blue beads like that. I will skip just one bead here and I will go through the following bead. Okay, then I'm going to take three more blue beads like that. Skip the next one and go here. I'm always skipping one bead, okay? And I'm pulling. And here what I want to take are three more blue beads and I will go through the following white. And now guys, I have a similar thing from every side, but you see how in the middle these white beads are not, are a little bit loose, so I will go in the center and reinforce the white beads, only the white beads. Maybe if you use monofilament you won't need to do this step, but here with the thread I feel the need to go one more time around all of my beads here. Okay. 
okay now guys go here through this blue bead and here I'm going to take five silver beads okay you see I have my five here and I will go here through this one like that and pull I'm going around the blue one in the center then I'm going through the following blue bead and I need five more okay I need five and I'm skipping the middle one going through these beads okay like that then again going through the blue one I'm just repeating here and I will take five more beads okay I have them here and I'm going through this blue one and if you can go in one movement also through the white okay and I'm going here to the next blue one and I will take five silver beads okay I have my five here and I'm going through this blue one and the white and I'm pulling okay and in my next step what I want to do is go through all of my beads in this direction through all of my silver beads I will exit here out of this silver and I'm going to add blue ones here taking two blue beads and going through the following silver like that here I will take three blue beads going through the silvers through the silver in the center then through the next two beads two more go here exit out of the center of your work and here take three red beads uh, uh, blue beads sorry going through the silvers take two and I'm basically alternating this okay three go back in circle Two. add two more go here and go here in the middle and add three blue beads and in my next step I will go through the following silver and here what I need are two white beads one blue and then again two white beads and I'm going here between those two silvers and pulling then go here to the following two two whites one blue two white beads go here between those beads okay 
two whites, one blue, two whites. Exit here between those two silvers and take two white beads, one blue, two white, okay, and go here. Okay, guys, and now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, and I want to exit here in the middle. And here I want to take three silver beads. Okay, three silvers. And I'm going back through this blue one. Okay, then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. I'm going through this blue bead here. And I will take five silvers. Okay, I have my five going here. Then go through three beads in this direction and repeat. Take three beads here, go back in circle through this one and if you can in one movement go here and exit out of the silver one. Okay. Then go out of here and then I will take five silvers, okay, five. Okay, then I'm going here through these three beads. And what I need here are three. Go back in circle through all of those beads. Five. Okay, go here. Go to three exiting out of the middle blue one. And three. Okay, and here I need five. Okay, I have five. Okay, and sometimes my thread is moving around. Okay, and now what I need to add is a final touch. So I'm going through these white beads here, exiting out of this silver and taking five blue beads. Okay, five, going here. Like that. Then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Okay. 
and my goal is to exit out of the next three silver beads. Okay, I'm going here in the silver and I will take five blue beads, go here, pull, then go through all of those beads here. If you can't go through the silvers, you might need to go through the blue ones here. Because sometimes you went so many times through the silver that it's not possible to go through them. Okay. And I will repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and I'm doing one and the same thing all the time. I'm just putting blue beads around my silver beads. And I'm always putting five of them. Okay, like that. And now what I want to do is finish my earring because these were the last five beads that I added okay now what I want to do is go through all of those blue beads and exit here at the center of my work and here I will add my ear wire okay now I will take one silver bead go here through my ear wire and take one more silver and I'm going back in circle through those beads and now I'm going to reinforce this part here like that do as many times as you can at least three times and then what I want to do is go in this direction and make some knots and cut my thread. Okay, I will go through these beads here in this direction, making a loop, going once, going second time through the loop you've made and then guys what I want to do is go through the following bead of course you could do more and more knots but um, always cut your thread when you go through the following okay and now guys my winter earring is ready hey guys and now my frosty winter earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my store where you could find beautiful ideas for presents. Uh, you could find it down there in description with free USA delivery code. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.